All right, so today we're taking a look at a guy who lied on his resume and became an executive at the University of Utah. A whole news station here, Fox 13, did an investigation on him, and this dude lied about so much stuff and still somehow became an executive. And you're probably thinking, Josh, your videos say lie on the resume. Not like this, though. Like, you lie on the resume to get to the interview and then be honest in the interview. This dude just straight up lied and made it to, to becoming an executive, and he gets paid, like, his total compensation is like over two hundred thousand dollars a year. It, he claims that like he was a producer on Resident Evil. He gave himself an award from a an, an organization that didn't exist. And the real fault here is that the University of Utah, I guess, didn't background check these things, or he made things up that they couldn't background check. So um, this is an example of what not to do. The Fox 13 News investigative team has learned a high-paid executive at the University of Utah fooled recruiters with outlandish claims to get the job. Christopher Massamine calls himself the mastermind. Seems to be a major player in the video game, film, television, advertising, music, and theater industries. And yet some of the most basic information on his impressive resume was never properly vetted until now. My name's Chris Massamine. I'm the new managing director here at Pioneer Theater. Join me for a second. After an 18-month search, the University of Utah was proud to announce in 2019 the hire of Christopher Massamine, the new managing director of Pioneer Theater Company. Well, I accomplished my goals. It's time for a good change. Pioneer Theater was that change. The former CEO now makes more than $200,000 a year in salary and benefits. Oh boy. And you hear that taxpayer money. But for the past few weeks, he has been unreachable, knowing that Fox 13 wants him to answer questions about the extravagant claims on his job application. Hello, ladies. Look at your man. Now back. To oh, yeah. He said he was part of the Old Spice commercials or like, like a producer or associated. I don't know. He put this on his resume. Massamine claims to be an advertising expert on his resume, creating big time campaigns for Old Spice. Those commercials were actually produced by the advertising agency, Wyden and Kennedy. A spokesperson confirms they've never heard of Massamine. Massamine also claims to be a producer for dozens of high profile video games like Resident Evil Village and Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yet his name appears nowhere in the credits. Oof. I feel like all of these things are just background checkable. Whoever hired this dude at the University of Utah, do you still have a job? Like, how do you still have a job? Shouldn't you background check this stuff? When I say lie on your resume, it's always just to get to the interview and then be honest. Like, don't lie on background checks. This stuff is just easily found out. Like, you're just going to get called out. Like, this, this stuff is easily checkable. They can see if you finished college. They can see the last places that you worked. They can see all that stuff. So going in and lying on a background check is dumb. Representatives for the production companies, Square Enix and Capcom, both confirm Massamine has never been a producer on these games. The CEO of Wildworks, a gaming company in Utah, helped us look at Massamine's resume. He was blown away that an executive working a full-time job at his alma mater had the energy to work on so many games some of which are produced exclusively in Japan. Any one of those roles would be a more than full-time job. It, it would be an all an all consuming uh, lifestyle and no it would not be possible. It would not be possible to drive an Uber and do that at the same time. So far we haven't even scratched the surface on Massamine's resume. But first, let's look at some of the basics. Fox 13 was able to confirm some of the most elementary items on his application were mostly accurate. According to his resume, Massamine earned his bachelor's and master's degree from New York University in just three years. How do you get a bachelor's and a master's in just three years? I mean, I know there are easy degrees and stuff, but oh wait, he didn't. He didn't get a master's degree at all. I would say that's a red flag right out of the gate. It took about five minutes for Fox 13 to get in contact with NYU to confirm Massamine did not receive a master's degree. At that point, if you have a candidate like that, is, does that resume just go in the trash? Oh, absolutely. The University of Utah has declined an on-camera interview, but did send Fox 13 an email stating they expect candidates to be truthful on their job application. Quote, consequences can range from corrective disciplinary action up to termination. It's a publicly funded university. I think it would be concerning to anyone as a 
as a taxpayer. The university also confirms it paid a search firm almost $36,000 to properly screen applicants for this position. Okay, so they just, they just failed. They just completely failed. Jonathan West with Management Consultants for the Arts has ignored multiple Fox 13 messages. You know, because it's not a good look for anyone, right? It's not a good look for the search firm, for himself, for the university. It's just a sad situation overall. Even after Massamine was hired by the university, getting paid tens of thousands of dollars more than his predecessor, the lies did not stop. He claims the National Performing Arts Action Association awarded him the Humanitarian of the Year Award in Washington. So that doesn't exist. National Performing Arts Association, whatever, it doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't exist. Washington, <laughs> D.C., along with an honorary key to the city, University of Utah published an article congratulating him. But our investigation confirms the NPAAA does not exist, and the medal he's wearing in these photos can be purchased online for $4.25. This guy's like, catch me if you can. University of Utah employees started noticing strange articles published online. Recorded music's best kept secret. Enter Christopher Massamine, the mastermind brand developer. The Marvelous Mr. Massamine, a mastermind of modern gaming. The stories are very flattering, full of praise and quotes about his work experience. People can pay people to publish, you know, articles. We found many of the stories do appear on websites, which look like official blogs and news sources, in which people pay to have their material posted. One of the sites, Game Zone Hub, quoted us $30 for the same service and revealed Massamine wrote the article himself. Writing about yourself in third person? Josh Fluke left the development world after discovering corporate and how- <laughs> And yet this fake article still has moments of wisdom. Like this quote from Massamine himself. I talk a lot about the importance of self-awareness in my work and daily life. When you're trying to impersonate someone who succeeded in a particular way, you're setting yourself up. For disaster. Just to be clear, this investigation only shows a snapshot of Massamine's work experience. He does appear to have some legitimate theater credentials, and not everything on his resume is fictional. But we are still in the process of trying to confirm or deny dozens of additional claims like you see right there on your screen. What? The University of Utah tells us we know more about his past than they do but they are reviewing complaints against him. Meanwhile, he continues to be paid that nearly $200,000 per year salary. Hey, look at that. If there's a lesson here, it's that you can lie in your resume and the background check and still make over $200,000 a year. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, don't do that. Definitely don't, don't interpret my videos like that. It's just if you have job gaps or you worked at a job that you hate, or they gave you a job title which was completely unrelated to what you did, or yeah, you got fired. There's a bunch of reasons why you would want to change things on your resume to be able to, you know, get another job. But definitely don't do this. He was awarded Humanitarian of the Year. He claimed that he was part of the advertising for KFC. He claims to have worked with Coca-Cola. This is, this is fake it till you make it. All the way, dude. <laughs> GMA awards for Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6. That's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed this story about someone lying on their resume to the extreme and then actually still working there today and not like, oh my God. But maybe he's doing good work, you know? Maybe if, if he's producing the results they want, then, you know, who cares? But yeah, anyways, if you enjoyed it, click like, subscribe, share the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think. See you in the next one.